In this video, we're going to work through and find the exact value for the sine of 12 degrees. And we're going to do so using the difference formula for sine right here. I have this expansion. And we're going to use two values, uh, sine of 18 and sine of 72. And these two values I worked through and found from scratch in two other videos. And so I have links to these two videos in the uh, video comments down below. So be sure to check those out if you're curious where these values came from. So the sine of 12 degrees is kind of going to piggyback on this work that's already been done. So let's go ahead and use this difference formula and we'll use the sine of 72 degrees minus 60 degrees. Okay, because 72 minus 60, and that's our 12 right there. So as I use this expansion, it's going to be the sine of 72 degrees times the cosine of 60 degrees minus the sine of 60 degrees times the cosine of, well, 72 degrees. Okay, so some of these values uh, are pretty easy. At the 60 degree values, those are fantastic. And then uh, the sine of 72, let's start there. We have that. It's the square root of 2 over 4, and then times this uh, square root expression right there. And the cosine of 60 is going to be 1 half, and minus then the sine of 60, which is radical 3 over 2. And we're going to multiply that by, well, it's cosine of 72. I have not worked that video out yet, um, but here's the thing. Between sine and cosine, we have this special relationship where if we take the sine of an angle, say 18 degrees, that's going to be the same value as cosine of the complement of that angle, so 72. And remember, complementary angles are just angles that add up to 90 degrees. So instead of using the cosine of 72, I can use the sine of 18. I already have worked that uh, value out in that previous video, so let's go ahead and insert that in there right now. So 1 fourth times the quantity, square root of 5, minus 1. And now it's just a matter of kind of simplifying this, and we'll put it in a calculator, and we'll see if it works. So the denominators here, 4 and 2, let's multiply together. So I have the square root of 2 over 8, and that's multiplied by this square root expression, minus, and here we have this uh, 8 again, so square root of 3 over 8, and then multiplied by the square root of 5 minus 1. And so this expression right here is going to be the exact value for the sine of 12 degrees. So uh, let's go ahead and we'll grab a calculator and we'll plug it in and we'll see if it works. Okay, here we go. So we'll do the inverse sine, so second sine, and we'll go ahead and plug this entire expression in there. So we'll start with the square root of 2 and we'll divide that by 8. We'll close that up and multiply it by the square root of 5 plus, and inside there is a square root of 5 also. And uh, from that we will subtract, uh, let's see, the square root of 3 divided by 8, and we'll multiply that by the square root of 5 minus 1. And close all that up, and... 12 degrees. Yep, so we see that that works out for the sine of 12 degrees. So there's that exact value. And again, I'll say, uh, be sure to check out that sine of 18 and the sine of 72 degrees as well, uh, because those were worked out in previous videos and they were done so from scratch. So those are pretty interesting to look at.